All right. Very good. Very good. Very well done. Um, yeah, definitely playing stuff uh, a little faster than I expected. You're doing quite well. Uh, I've read what you said at the bar chords you went in the other week. Well, this week it kind of works out in your favor, I think, with those kinds of chords. Uh, if you haven't looked already, when we get to the big thing that's growing, basically you're doing the exact same thing this week that we did last week, but an octave lower. So the chords you strum will end up being the same. So hopefully that uh, works out in your favor there. But yeah, it seemed okay what I was hearing, it, or at least it, it blended well in the mix. All uh, right, so the new thing here for the rhythm this is in a 3-4 time signature. And it's the same rhythm every bar. So practicing uh, counting this as the 3-4 is going to be very helpful for what we're going to end up doing with this. We're going to end up doing a polymeter. Basically that means we're going to have a 3-4 time signature and a 4-4 time signature happening at the same time. So that is coming up. So definitely practice saying it as as a three four. It's basically going to be going just like one and and four or and four. And I, I just said the wrong number, didn't I? One and and three. One and and three. So I'm going to demonstrate that as I play it. But yeah, just basically doing it like that. Just a one and and three. One and and three. It's going to be very helpful for the more advanced thing we're going to be hitting pretty soon here. Um. So you got the rhythm written out where you can have the tied eighth notes to show where or show how this upbeat is tied to the downbeat. And then right below it, the same chord progression, but the rhythm is written out a little different. So just like we have done already, instead of having an eighth note tied to an eighth note, we can also just show it as a quarter note. And then we change the chord progression back to the I feel easier way of reading this rhythm and then the not so easy way so let's play it at 60 to get started that's very quiet the microphone's a little bit hot there Okay, here we go. So count of three, and for your count in, um, in Guitar Pro, the way I have it set up, you're gonna have the two bars of the drum beat. So you're gonna hear the rhythm with the drums in for two bars, and then it kicks off. All right, here we go. One, two, three. One and, and three. One and, and three. One and. beats per minute. One, two, three, one and, and 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 three, one and,
it at 150. One, two, one, two, three. to the new stuff well just one new thing really but yeah right here that is the exact same thing as before but with the open strings so that brings some challenges <coughs> trying to keep everything nice and clean uh, so really just a matter of lots of like th thumb over the top your index finger muting a lot of stuff over here so like going through that first part So you could use your middle finger on those on the three. You might want to use your ring finger and have the index finger really helping out with all the muting. So you see like when I get to the end there, like my thumb is on top of the E and the A string, and my index is on the G, B, and the E, or the high E. So I'm constantly changing like how my hand is moving around there to mute those open strings. And then usual muting with the right hand, you know, covering all those unused strings. Like at the end there, see my index is laying across all of the strings that are not being used. So all five of those. So good idea without the metronome, without Guitar Pro, just practice. Even just like when you're playing your scale there. Um, so yeah, the scales you're going to be doing uh, for the next video will be these. So as you practice the newest shape, technically not the newest, it's just the same as the last one, but open. Uh, just yeah, take your time with that. Make sure you can go from string to string and keep things quiet. So you see, like when I jump to that open A string, I'm muting the low E with my thumb. Index is on the other strings. really helping out muting those strings when I'm on the, the high E over here. Any string really helps out muting the unused higher pitch strings coming back down. Goodness, no, I'm, I'm, I'm overdoing it. <laughs> but yeah, just practicing that, getting good at keeping things clean, playing that scale shape. Should help you get the newest lead part down. And then, yeah, just you can focus on you know, one little phrase at a time. And just stick with that until it sounds really clean, and then you move on to the next one. 
that until it's really clean and then just you know ease into each individual piece there and remember what you're going to do after getting that down then you start up here and just keep working your way down back to the beginning um don't know if I mentioned that in the last video or any of them yet but yeah once you get this down along with Guitar Pro then you're gonna start here and play those two lines and once you can do that nice and comfortable then you start here and then play through all that and you basically just keep working backwards or adding backwards until you make it to the beginning again this way you can uh, keep focusing on the newest stuff more because the old stuff especially that first scale Hopefully by now that's really easy. Well, the way you played it, it seemed pretty easy. So you definitely got it. But anyway, let's demonstrate this. Back down at the old 60. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. One, two, three, four. I am thinking of the wrong pattern. Goodness, I need to read the screen. Sorry. One, two, three, four. when I put the metronome on and I got to actually demonstrate it then I started screwing it up we all know how that goes right 120 one two three four and 180 why not one Two, one, two, three, four. All right. And then, yeah, chords are the same as last time because E is the starting and end note for the uh, new lead part. And I think that covers everything. All right, keep up the good work. Same thing next week. Uh, just turn in the same kind of videos and all good. So any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you again in your new videos.